Today, the official decision was signed, making the Western South Dakota base the future home of the B-21 Raider Bomber. This designation not only means that Ellsworth will be the first base to host the B-21 Raider, but it will host the formal training unit and the first operational squadron. Joining us now is Senator Mike Rounds to talk about this big announcement for the Ellsworth Air Force Base and South Dakota. Thanks for joining us, Senator. Thanks. Appreciate the opportunity. And this is a great day, a day to say congratulations, not just to South Dakota, but to Ellsworth Air Force Base, Box Elder, Rapid City, Western South Dakota. Uh, those folks out there have worked really hard to showcase Ellsworth and the, the entire community, making it a welcoming place for these airmen and women as they come in to, to, to do their duty. And to have the uh, B-21 stealth bomber now identified formally as being uh, located at Ellsworth Air Force Base is a very, very special occasion. What is this announcement going to mean for the whole Black Hills Rapid City area? Well, to begin with, they'll start with some uh, minimal amounts of construction. There will be what they call a low observable hangar that will be put on the uh, Ellsworth itself. But you're going to find contractors coming in that work on the B-21 as it is further developed. You're going to find people that work on the weapons systems that are going to come in and live there in the Box Elder Rapid City area. You'll find probably 750 more airmen and women that will be coming in along with their families. Um, so you're going to see an influx in the number of personnel that are there. You're going to see an influx in, uh, in activity at the base itself as the training squadron is established there first. And um, we'll see a lot more families, kids, uh, and, and activity in the area. Now, why was Ellsworth picked for the B-21 bomber? It, it was picked because of the environmental impact statement showing it to be the best place to house this particular uh, uh, weapon system. Number one, we're close to uh, 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 wide open air spaces. It's called the, the Powder River Basin airspace, where they can do some really high altitude training. Second of all, there were facilities that were already there that, that we can take advantage of at Ellsworth. And the part that a lot of people don't realize is, is the Air Force looks for places where they're welcome. And in this particular case, Western South Dakota is known for welcoming these young men and women who come in and spend time there, a lot of them decide that they want to retire there in the Black Hills of South Dakota. So it's a combination of things. They look at uh, whether or not the natural resources are there in the area, whether or not we've protected the outskirts of the base appropriately over a period of years. And my compliments once again to the folks out in the Rapid City and Box Elder area as they've continued to put in more separation there so that, you know, in case you ever did have some kind of an incident or anything, people wouldn't get hurt on the ground. But all of those things add in to the reasoning for establishing uh, Ellsworth as being the first home for the B-21 Raider bomber. Some big news. Thank you so much for joining yeah. us, Senator. Appreciate it.